All right, we'll try some dilution problems. Let me write down the formula first. All right, over here. M1, V1 equals M2, V2. Number of ways you can ask this. One way is, uh, let's say, I want to dilute this to make it uh, down to 1.7 molar. Okay, so I want to decrease the molarity. Definitely the volume has to change. I have to be given the volume, so let me make up a number for the volume here. Uh, 100 milliliters. So you got 5.1 molar manganese 2 acetate 100 milliliters. I want to know the final volume if I dilute it down to here. So all you do is set up your equation. The initial molarity is 5.1, and the initial uh, volume is 100. The final molarity is 1.7, and the final volume is what we want to know. And if somebody could do this one, that'd be great. I like this number, so I can explain it a little bit. It's definitely going to be in milliliters. Somebody, what do you have a calculator? If not, you can borrow one of mine. You have one? Oh, no. There we go. Uh, one of you can calculate what this number will be. Uh, I'll say a little bit about that. You don't have to convert this to liters. Um, you can just keep it in milliliters as long as your answer stays in milliliters. Okay? I'm expecting uh, the second volume to be larger. I have, AKA, I have to add water to dilute something. So I better have more volume at the end. Uh, it's 300 you got about approximately or exactly? Oh, that's fantastic. I love exact things like that. Okay, so 300 milliliters. Uh, at this mo moment, I won't worry about sig figs. We'll just worry about the concept. But it should have two sig figs maximum. Okay, so that's adding water. So this is actually the final volume. This is not what you added. So if I wanted to do this in lab, how much water would I add? Yeah, 300 minus 100 or 200. So that's what you would actually add. So you have to read the question extremely carefully and see what we're asking for. Are we asking for the final volume or are we asking for what you add? Now another way this can go, you can go the other direction and say I want to go up to 10.2 molar. That's pretty high molarity, but let's say we can get up that high. Uh, then, now I'm not adding water. I have to remove water. So say through boiling or evaporation or something like that. In that case, uh, we'll just kind of do it in our head. Uh, to order to double the molarity, I've got a half the volume. So that's just doing the calculation in your head. You could put it in here. But essentially, that's the concept. Again, once you're, you know, you have to see, do you want the final volume, which would probably be 50, or do you want the difference, which in this case would also be 50. So it would be hard to mess that one up. Okay. So you just got to be careful about how it's asked, but I want to make sure you all know this so you're ready for the exam. Okay?